everyone welcome back to design news in today's episode we're checking out a free ui design crash course in figma made by one of the most popular ui ux designers in the world a free 3d illustration library which can help you get started with 3d illustrations for your designs and a new repository to find design inspiration all this and much more so without further ado let's just get started now after a long time a very nice new illustration library has cropped up. Vectorov allows you to customize their illustrations on their website, see how it looks in a UI and then download it for your own projects. I think that sets it apart from all the other illustration libraries out there. Also they have options for various scenes, humans, dogs, cats, things like that. I think this is a free resource which you definitely should check out. Now UI and UX trends have been trending for a while now. Things like glass morphism, 3D, large typography, all that is cool. But how do you apply these design trends in your UI design? The answer is very simple. There's a lovely article on UX Planet on Medium. You can see that the author has really thoroughly gone through all the design trends and is actually suggesting you on how you can use them to their best potential. If you're someone who wants to bring 3D designs, glass morphism, AI, AR into your designs, this is an absolute must read for 2021. And if you read this, you find it useful, make sure you tell the author in the medium comments that you're from Puneet Chawla's channel. That'll be such a wonderful expression from one creator to the other. Wouldn't it be cool that you could edit websites on the fly? Yes, there is a Chrome and a Firefox extension which is just released. Stylebot allows you to basically change the style, size of fonts, typography, colors, dark mode and much more. If you are looking to redesign a website and you want to see how it will look with a certain font, with dark mode, with different colors, you can check out Stylebot and actually experiment with a website before redesigning it. I think this will be very useful. It's free to download and it's just a Chrome and Firefox extension. Typography is very hard to crack. You've always heard people talk about how typography is very important. The fonts you pick, the size of the fonts, the text hierarchy, and much more. Now, this agency called Obis has actually created an entire section of their website as a guidance for typography. So if you're looking for a mini course or guidance on typography, then you should look at this. I was in awe when I saw how clean the website looks and they clearly know how to engage someone with their cool typography skills, for sure. Talking about course, Damn. our friend Pablo Stanley, one of the most well-known names in UX UI right now, thanks to his senorita and uh, whatnot, also has been an OG creator on YouTube and other platforms for design, has actually come out with his own crash course on UI design using Figma. So he will teach you how to master Figma for free. That sounds crazy, right? And he has created the kind of steps that he'll go through to teach you UI design through Figma. All the chapters are not yet live, but I think you should quickly start up with this, sign up to his newsletter so you keep updating with it. And Pablo, if you're watching this, how about we do a senorita video together sometime, huh? Now, most recently, a trend with designers and developers is how you can use Notion, the note-taking app, to create your own portfolios and design websites. You can actually create a document with your portfolio, your images, everything, and you can convert them directly into a website, a working website. Notelet is a new tool which will allow you to do that. They show you how you can do it, so you go step by step. They have cool and simple instructions on how you can do it yourself. And if you're looking to create a great portfolio, all you need to do is have Notion and have this tool and you should have one in minutes maybe. Now Dribble and Behance are cool for inspiration, motivation, whatever you want to call it. But Vectors is a really nice website which has cropped up. It has all the cool illustrations and free resources that you can use for your design projects. You want free, you want free illustrations? You find it on that website. You want free 3D assets? You can find it on this website. You want free UI kits? You can find it on this website. So basically it's like Google, but for finding free illustrations and design resources, I think you should give this a try. It can change your life. Last but not the least, Fruto. 
Fruto is a 3D artist or designer who's been creating some cool 3D assets which are free. He's just distributing it for free on the internet and I really appreciate it. Premium quality 3D illustrations, 3D graphics and assets for UI designers, graphic designers or whatever you are. I think this is amazing how people who are so talented can do this work for a lot of money but in turn they actually create something really cool like this for free just like we do it here that was it for design news if you like today's episode make sure you hit that thumbs up and if you want to be updated with the latest design news the latest trends the latest assets and much more you can find it on this channel so make sure you subscribe to the channel also, hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on anything. I mean, FOMO is a thing, you know, fear of missing out. I'll see you next time. Till then, God bless.